The steps I took in order to arrive in Japan started a long time ago, before I even realized that this is where God was leading me. Hi, my name is Becca, and I'm the Children's and Family Minister at Mustard Seed Christian Church in Nagoya, Japan. When I first came to doxology, I was in a season of life where I was growing spiritually. I had just graduated from college, where I attended a church and had a wonderful community that was striving to grow and serve the Lord. However, after moving back to the Metroplex, I was in need of community and fellowship. I wanted to continue to grow and be stretched in my walk with the Lord, but was struggling to find a church to serve and connect with. After a year of searching, a family member recommended doxology. My first Sunday, I felt so welcomed and at home. And it was actually in the same Sunday that there was an interest meeting for short-term mission trips for that coming summer. Growing up in a Christian home, I was always aware of missions. However, it was not something that I ever was interested in pursuing. My journey to Japan began back in 2010. The first small steps I took in this journey um, were short-term trips, first with Doxology and through other churches. These short-term trips opened my eyes to see how God is working in the world. And after one trip, I wanted to see more of what God is doing and be able to serve again. And every time I stepped forward, it wasn't like a magical moment where all my fears and worries suddenly disappeared. But God gave me His peace with each step that I took. And He gave me the courage to step forward through the fear. God used people around me to confirm where He was calling. I sought out people in my community and leadership around me to talk about where I felt God was leading. The short-term trips that I took were able to be both eye-opening and very humbling. On these trips, I was reminded that God is at work in every corner of the earth. No matter where He calls me to live, I am called to live obediently. I am called to live sacrificially, and I am called to share Jesus with those I encounter. And that looks different in different cultures and different regions of the world, but God's love is never changing. If I live in a high-rise apartment in a city of millions or a house in the suburbs, I can love my neighbors. Living on mission is something I believe all believers can do, stepping outside of our comfort zone and seeking to love the people around us.